Welcome everybody to Nine's Corner. I am Nine. I am so happy to get to spend this time with you, but I had to bring you outside. It is such a beautiful, glorious day. It's a little nippy, it's a little cold, but it is so beautiful. I had to share it with you for a few seconds, so. So my friends, I had to share this beautiful day with you because it makes me feel so happy to look outside and feel the warm air and the crispness because there's just so much going on. I have to give out a shout out to Danny Shea from Bathrobe Tarot. I, I was texting him and asking if he was okay because they're dealing uh, with a lot happening with the flooding and everything happening in California. So my best wishes and thoughts go out to Danny, and I'm sure everybody will join me in putting that out to him. So let's get into this reading. I'm going to do your questions. I don't know how many I'm going to get done. It depends on how long the readings take. So let's get to the first question. This is from Jay McDonald. Nine, would you please do a reading on George San Santos? if that's even his name. He received an enormous amount of money from an unknown source for, for his campaign. Thank you for your gift of tarot. That's pretty good. I'm reading without glasses, just saying. So Santos, do you know, like I mentioned this in previous reading that he got in trouble in Brazil for check fraud. So how did he get through? Like, you know, there's something amiss. How did he get to the States? How did he get to be who he is in the position that he's in with all the lies and people knew people knew but they the big wigs i think they i think people knew that were higher up and they pushed it through so he got help he got help from who let's just look at santos and see what's happening in his life who is he why is he here what is he doing why 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 King of Cups, there's somebody in power that's controlling this. Um, somebody that Santos got involved with. It looks like a love relationship. He got involved with somebody who was older than him, got a hold of his emotions, knew what he was about, and was willing to help him, but with a price to pay. Ooh, Four of Swords, they got him by the kahunas, my friends. They are forcing this situation. There's a reason. he do, He's so uncomfortable with what everything's happening. But this was something that was made and planned. And he is this puppet that was put in place by somebody powerful. The Empress. I believe in, in his dealings in Brazil, his mother was somehow involved. So he definitely has mommy issues. Mom is involved. She knows the situation. Um, and she might have even been involved to a certain extent, putting Santos out there as this pawn. This is getting really sick, pawn. Temperance, holy moly. Somebody who's wielding great power. We're talking international. We're talking Brazil is mostly involved with USA and China. That's their biggest trade people. I looked it up. So there is somebody who's controlling him who made it so that, that he could get in position. This is, this is possibly China. And I, I'm not even joking that somehow China created him oh maybe they gave him the money did you see that money 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 oh see why did trump ruin that song for me i love that song i gotta find out i have to find another money song guys you know what no 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 i was gonna say no i'm gonna keep it but i don't it just reminds me of trump too much here's the money i'm telling you 
whether he knew it or not, whether there's a, tr a train of people who are involved, if you go back and you look through the money source, you're going to find China. Um, seeing it from a different perspective, I think this is now people starting to see it. Um, this was done purposefully. There was people involved. I think McCarthy, um, McCarthy was in on this. He knew of this. Um, and I mean, before anything happened, before he became, look, there's the planning, the looking at the details. Oh, wow. The world. And yeah, I truly feel that China was behind it. It's going to come to an end. He's going to come to an end. He's not going to spend the two years there or however long he's got. This will come to an end and it will be done because so much pressure. It might take some time. It might be between, you know, now and eight months time. I feel really shaky because it's like I, I really strongly feel that China's thumbprint is over this and I really believe that in so many of my readings that I've done over the two, last two years that if you go behind many of the businesses that were involved with you know whoever was the person of the day eventually years down the road you find out that somehow China was involved somehow, somehow China was the actual owner of it but they said it was owned by this it's that kind of a feeling but he will come to an end He's still going to defend himself. See, we got the nine, eight of pentacles out. So we're looking at like, it could be like eight to nine days, weeks or months, not years, but he's not going to, he's, he's going to defend because he has no other choice. He has to, he is an, oh, he, he has no other choice to do this. He's being forced to do it. There's a give and take here. And, uh, at the end of the day, he's going to be left out. China is going to um, hide their their um, their part in this, but I do believe that he will be kicked out. There's another person that's involved. I mean, I'm thinking McCarthy, but it could be somebody else um, that's unknown to us, but will become known to us, and it will be somebody that's in the political field. Um, they're going to find. They're going to be looking at the money, finding out about the money. And we will eventually get a story that will come down to China. But it's going to take a long time because this is done, you know, so, so, like, done with such precision that you can't see it. You know, it's like, um, I remember, I think I, I talked about this before, but I did a reading in which, like, two years ago, in which I was like, there's spies everywhere. There's spies in our university. There's spies in our medical field. There's spies in our political field. They're all coming from China. And two years later, we find out about a spy being removed from a university campus here in Canada. So that just, for me, just said, yes, you're you're on the right track here. And I mean, you know, like any good story, any good movie, any good detective story, follow the money and you will find who's at fault. But then we're also seeing China kind of like what's happening there. Their people are sick. Their people are starting to want to revolt. And now they're talking about the um, age of their people becoming more elderly. So they don't have the workforce. They don't have the power that they once had. So they have so much to deal with where we've talked about this, the breaking down of the structure. It doesn't happen at once. It happens piece by piece by piece. So there you go, Jay and McDonald. There's our Santo story. And I'm sticking to it. Oh, I hope I didn't put them. I only read my cards um, upright. So I hope I didn't mix them up, but I will just read them upright regardless. Next question. Hi, Nine. This is from David Fisher. Thank you. Hi, Nine. With the Republican House after Biden and info stored improperly in multiple multiple places, will this lead to Biden leaving his position? So we're going to do a reading on, will this end up leaving Biden to leave? Also, several years back, there was those tapes of him with the former Ukrainian president, Poroshenko, valid. For instance, the one where Biden wants Poroshenko to fire the Ukrainian prosecutor investigating Hunter. I thank you, Dave, for the question, David, for the question. 
I remember doing a reading on Hunter. Don't kill me because I got a lot of backpack with that. But it ended up being true. So there you go. I tell the truth. Um, I remember reading up on that story. And the way I read it from all the news sources is that Biden and all of NATO, all of, the, all, all, all of the supporters wanted to get this person removed because he was shady as heck and everybody knew it. So that was happening and Biden was asking uh, that of him to remove the prosecutor. But then shortly after that, the whole Hunter thing happened with connection with that and it would help Hunter for this guy to be removed because he knew of Hunter's issues. So it makes it look as though Biden was trying to remove the prosecutor because of Hunter. But if you follow the news and if they're telling us the truth, Biden and his supporters were already trying to do that, remove the prosecutor before, before Hunter Biden was an issue. So we're going to look at two questions. First, we're going to look at, will all this pressure of papers being found, will this eventually lead to Biden having to leave before his two years are up? I'm the messenger. I just read the cards, right? You can't get mad, just in case. So I got little vibes happening here. A little shaky. Two of Pentacles weighing out the situation. I truly, I stand by my original reading about Biden that the want to do this is here, but he really should be enjoying his retirement, enjoying his grandchildren. But he put that part of his life, his family, he put that um, leveled down so that he could take the position of president because he knew that he was the only one that could outdo Donald Trump. Right now, I think they're in a situation where they're looking at everything that's happening right now. They're looking at the DOJ being a circus. They're looking at, um, you know, all the crazies taking over, over the house. We're looking at the, the, constant breakdown and loss of power that Donald Trump is having and all the cases that are against him. So I feel like Biden is waiting his time out. He does not want to give Donald Trump a chance to take over or do anything. So he is there because he believes in his heart that he's doing what's best for the country. Is he doing what's best for him? No, absolutely not. But we're in a um, delay. He's not going to be leaving tomorrow. This means that we're out a few months, few years. Let's just look at the rest of the cards and see what's happening. Are you kidding me? Do you see the two of swords coming out? I've got two twos, two twos. Um, wow. The two of swords, you know, I, I, one, I think that there are people in Biden's camp who are quietly thinking about guys, maybe we should get somebody in position to promote for president with every, like, you know, keeping in mind that Biden's here. So they got that on their mind. Like Biden's here. Let's just see how the winds blow until we get to the next election. But in the meantime, there's a group of people saying, hey, we need to make sure we've got somebody to promote. We should be talking about somebody. There should be candidates, not just one, two or three that should be rising up and giving some um, understanding of, listen, if Joe Biden decides or can't move forward, then we have other people that we can promote. So there's a lot of delays happening in the Democratic Party in the sense that um, I think there's some questions around Joe Biden and his ability to not get through the next two years, because I'm seeing two twos here, right? So it's it's sort of really unsure. This is saying, listen, don't know. It really depends on his health. It really depends on the people around him. And like I said in a previous reading, there are people in the Democratic Party. I don't know if it's one or two or a small group or what have you, but there are people that are in his camp that are not there to do his not to his greater good. I think there's people that are undermining him. I think there's people that um, 
are questioning him and maybe doing things undercover to kind of keep the situation in case, like, you know, I've got Biden as my plan A, but then we need to have a plan B, C, D, E. It's like they're thinking about this. They're they're getting into this, you know, we're getting into this questionable part, questionable, questionable part. Strength on top of the two twos. I would find it really hard to not see him get through the next two years. It's going to take a lot of strength. I worry about his health. Um, it's really like the cards are just saying it's really not clear right now. It is, it is being balanced. It's being weighed and it really is going to take a lot of strength on his part, which indicates to me that there may be a reason for that strength. He may have some health issues coming up. Um, and with, you know, this card, that would mean Kamala Harris would have to step up. Um, I think right now we have to wait. There's a lot of situations that are brewing and Biden and them are watching and looking at these situations. And if, you know, Donald Trump is removed from the equation, then Biden would be happily saying, hey, you know, push these other people up. But right now they can't do that because the situation is not clear. Um, Biden's health really is in question. I see him uh, being surrounded by his family, by his grandchildren. Um, I think there is a possibility of some health issue happening that may cause him to have to take over. Um, he will be okay. There's definitely going to be something coming up. The situation that Biden finds himself in being president, I mean, for the normal you know, 50 or 60 year old president like Obama and them. I mean, you could see how the four years of being president aged each president. It is hard. It is difficult. It is work that keeps you up at night. I really feel that um, Biden's presidency is really hurting his health. It's really putting pressure on his health. I think there is a health issue that they may be aware of and they are just, they're in a position where they're just going to wait this out. They're just going to see how things go and then try to base their decisions on what happens with Biden. But I, I would say that we need to um, give good vibes out for Biden and his health. Because he's doing this because he believes truly that he's doing what's best for the country. But in the meantime, it's hurting him. And to go after his child is um, beyond Biden's strength. So, which leads us into our next question. So, to our next question from Danielle Spencer. Thank you, Danielle. Love your readings, Nine. Yes, darling. Thank you. There's one I would love to read about. That is Aaliyah. She was a beautiful R&B singer back in the 90s, but suddenly died in a plane crash in the early 2000s. They want to reopen the case of the plane crash. I remember hearing about that when it happened. Was she drugged or was the plane too small with all the weight of the luggage and the people that were on it? Or did someone set her up to die? And there was money involved in the accident. Okay. I do know who she's speaking of. I can picture her in my mind. And I remember um, when she passed in a plane crash. And there were several other people with her that passed away as well. Um, how should we do this? 
what happened with you? From Aaliyah's perspective, I'd like to know what happened with the plane. Was it an accident due to weight? Was she drugged? I didn't hear that part. God, it feels so heavy. I feel like, oh my God, the weight of the world's on my shoulders right now. Okay, let's look and see because she wants to talk. Whoa! Yikes! Oh my God. First card out, Queen of Wands. You saw me do it. She wants to talk. Death card, the world card, and the page of wands. Okay. Queen of Wands, somebody who was in power enacted this. This was not done without, this was, she was poisoned. Um, she was given some, I'm so heavy right now. I feel so tired. Like I just want to go to sleep. Somebody did something to end her life. There was a reason. It was like, it was like she had to die for something to come to completion. There was people involved. There was more than one, but it was very powerful people, people that were in the know. And there's somebody who wants to tell. There's there's somebody, an, an underlink of these people that has the story and ha doesn't have the whole story. They don't know everything, but they've got like nuggets of, of information that is definitely truthful. Death card, transformation, this was something that was, uh, we all come into this life. We're energy, you know. Uh, we've come into our energies multiple times. And we plan, you know, to a certain extent what's going to happen. You know, like when I was born, I was born with little Igo. I planned that when I came into my life. So that would be a contrast or something I had to get over. So I feel like Aaliyah is kind of saying, listen... Somewhere deep inside of me, I knew this. I feel as though if we talk to people that were around her, that we might find out that she said this or it's written somewhere where she was a little bit worried. But there is somebody, a very powerful, um, a very powerful person. Now, I mean, I, I pull the Queen of Wands. It could be a woman. I strongly feel a woman connection with her. Um... But it could be somebody who has a Queen of Wands personality, can get things done. But this person is also somebody who's who's like, um, they're dual. They have their outward um, presentation, and then they have their behind the scenes thing. And Aaliyah's saying she knew this, and I, I don't mean she knew this. Consciously, she might have had a conversation where she said, you know, I don't feel like I'm long for this world or I don't feel like I'm going to become old age or, it could, you know, anything like that. Or it could be a case of when she was getting on that plane, something happened. She was given something because I feel so heavy, so tired. So she was given something that made her get on the plane. She was coaxed to the plane. This was not something that she did of her own fruition. There's somebody that... Yeah. Okay, weight was definitely an issue on the plane. And two things can happen at the same time. Weight could have been an issue. Somebody knew about it. They um, drugged her or... Yeah, it's just something because I'm so freaking tired. It's like I'm trying to just like... But the weight, okay, I get that off me because it's hard. Um, a lot of, um, I don't see this as arguing. It's a lot of like showmanship, trying to show who's better, who's in power. It feels like there's a group of people that, we're not on her side that for whatever reason, and I don't understand this. I really don't understand this because it's like, if she's gone, if she's out in the cold, if we remove her, then the money will be there. Then there's this, there's this 
cascade of people trying to one-upmanship within this. The Hierophant, a very powerful um, tradition. Very, It's like a, um, people that are really closely bonded together. That's why they could trust what was happening. And she's, she's saying, look at what was going on. What was the structure of the situation? It's like if you if you go back, if if and when they go back, they're going to see what we're seeing in these cards. It's going to be evident that there's something there. Will it? Okay. Everything is fine. I feel that at this point, the tarot is saying, take a moment. And remind everybody that even in the earthly, um, you know, uh, our earthly way of being where we have the free will to make choices that create these situations, that through all of this, everything is fine. Everything is fine. You are okay. Everything works out. We are spirit beings. We are energy we cannot be destroyed and we will go back. So even in death, we are we have to know that everything's fine because we know that death is not final. It's energy going into another form. It's where we're all going to go back. And that spark of energy, that knowing is inside of all of us. We're born the fool. We're born with that that spark of 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 curiosity. And then we can go through the whole a whole card system saying, listen, you meet your mom and dad and they teach you what it's like to feel love or not feel love. Then you go into society and you learn the rules or you break the rules. I mean, we could go on and on and on, but there's a certain standard that goes on and it leads to us becoming the fool again because we're all energetic. So I need to remind you that even in death, even in the deaths that are obviously hurtful and planned and I really think that it's going to come out it will come out but everything is fine I need you to know that seven of wands there's, there's going to be people who there's some the person who is in power is going to be defending this and they've got a story they've got a story that's planted they've got receipts planted so that even if we come out and say, hey, you know, there's certain curious facts about this. They've already got planted stories, planted things to keep things um, questionable. So that even when they come out and they look into it, they're going to see that there's more to it. But it's going to be other things that are going to make it go like, I'm not sure. That's the feeling here, but... Destiny, true destiny. She was destined to have this happen for the destiny of somebody else. It was a pre-planned, made decision before they ever came onto this earth. And even though on this earth it looks awful, but these are the decisions that were made and upheld. When you get destiny... When you get destiny, that means that, for me, that prior to you coming into this earthly world and getting your bones and your skin and your personalities and all that stuff, that there was a spiritual, um, a spiritual connection coming into this where they knowingly knew that these events would happen. Don't forget that these kind of things that happen, even though they don't happen to us, it makes us aware of, of the things that don't work for us. We see the contrast. We see the things that this is not okay. This is not, it creates a feeling in you, right? But don't forget, everything is fine. Everything works out. We are energy. We will flow back and from, back into that energy and we have the knowing inside of us. So it's okay. Everything's going to be okay. But God bless. Like, wow. Just 
I don't know. I, I, I don't know the story. So interesting. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you have your theories or if you know any little tidbits that will tell us about the story, I'd be really, really interested in it. And it is now 3.15. I have to get ready for work. I loved our interaction. I loved the readings today. So I appreciate you being with me and giving me that energy. And I still have a couple of questions that I need to answer. But I will do that in a, in a reading coming up. <laughs> I'll do that in a future reading. My God, how am I going to go to work when I can't even talk? I'm good. It's just that energetically, I'm really vibing because I really felt those readings. I really felt like I was onto something and energetically was being flow, th flown that way, flowing that way. I was, I was being pushed that way. So, all right, my darlings, as always, I have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. Don't forget, everything is okay. Everything will work out. And... If you don't mind, please leave a like, a subscribe, a comment, anything you want that helps my channel. And until the next time we chat, cheerio and take care, my friends.